I'll ask. Alright, what is it? 13 under? It makes sense. I mean, there is a demand for it. Then it would have been hooked up. Stay late. All right, I'll call this meeting to order, please. Uh, we are very lucky tonight. I'm going to ask our 13 and under boys St. Clair Little League state champions to come up and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. So all the coaches and the boys come up front to this microphone right here. Don't be afraid to come down here just because Foley's up here. <laughs> just spread out and, yeah. I'll ask everybody to stand up and take your hats off, please. Whenever you're ready, fellas. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Don't run away. I'm going to ask Bart Stark, well, if he's, there he is. Why don't you step up to the microphone and give us all a little uh, rendition of what the season was all about. So big season for us. First of all, I want to thank the mayor and the council for having us here, recognizing the achievement that these guys were able to accomplish this year. Little League in St. Clair has been around a long time. First state title they've ever won. Um, exciting stuff. Went to the regional, ended up placing third there. You're looking at a top 15 and the top 15 team in the country coming from St. Clair. Wow. So I know the parents, the coaches, everybody's really proud of what these boys accomplished. Sure. So Why don't you uh, maybe introduce these guys and maybe say one sure. little thing about each one? <laughs> <laughs> no pressure <laughs> number one cam Hazel. uh probably the hardest working kid on the team uh couldn't be happier than when he's playing baseball uh carter dombrowski obviously not the loudest one <laughs> great ball player good catcher jack the hammer winston the life of the party <laughs> austin schweiger always smiling Kevin Zoplitz doesn't get too high and doesn't get too low. He's just Kevin. Uh, Jack, or I'm sorry, <laughs> Joe. Joe Phillips, we call him the wild man. Uh, Brady Gleason, always has a smile on his face. Max Gottler, nicknamed the tank, you can see why. Uh, Joey Harwood, great catcher, good ball player. Jacob Stockwell, the biggest pain on the team. <laughs> <laughs> and Parker Griefor keeps it exciting all the time. A couple kids that are missing tonight couldn't be here. Marcus Stoppa, uh, Colton Dawson, and Abby. Evan Krusky. And now who's the coaches back here to help you? Coaches. Denny White. I'm sure everybody's familiar with Coach White and Stu Winston. Well, congratulations. What really amazes me, you did all this with Denny White helping you? <laughs> <laughs> he had some experience in the state title department. He's a good guy. He's been around a little bit. Yeah. Well, we're just proud as heck. And yeah. um, you guys, congratulations. You represent the city of St. Clair in a great way. And just keep moving forward. Keep doing great things. Mr. Foley, you okay there? I'm okay. Congratulations, boys. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for coming, guys. Now, I don't normally say this, they might be out of order saying it, but since you fellas accomplished such a great feat there, if you don't want to stick around for this whole meeting, you feel free to scoot on out. But <laughs> that's why people sit back there, because they want to. If you want to stay, that's, that's, you're welcome to do that too. But I know it's hot out and you probably won't want to go swimming or something. I didn't really think they'd leave. But I guess they're smarter than I thought they were. <laughs> Thank you. Good job, guys. I think it was 60 years this year. Wow.
was it? Unbelievable, it's the first state championship, isn't it? Yeah. A lot of good ball clubs. I guess they should have told this story before they left. <laughs> I can remember being down at Joe Collector Park and the Tigers came and the LK lane stood at home plate and hit a fly ball over the Bondi's front yard. Yeah. I still remember that. Yeah. You know? That just being year. in awe. That was the year Come back the All-Star game. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty cool. All right. All right, good job. Uh, let's have a roll call, please. Cedar? Here. Foley? Here. Kinspotter? Here. Kleeman? Here. Guffa? Here. Laporte? Here. McCartney? Here. All present, Your Honor. All right, thank you. We'll go to Consent Agenda A City Council Minutes of August 3rd, 2015, Special and Regular Meetings. Recommendation approved. So moved. Support. <coughs> All right, motion is made. Supporting questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Number five is ordinances and resolutions. We have nothing there. Reports of administration. Uh, Mr. Booth is not with us tonight. Uh, Mr. Downey, you have anything? Uh, nothing this evening, Your Honor. All right. Any city departments? Um, yes, Your Honor. Just a reminder that all city offices will be closed Monday, September 7th in observance of Labor Day. And trash pickup that week will be delayed by one day. So if your day is Wednesday, it'll be picked up on Thursday, Thursday on Friday. And the next regular council meeting will be Tuesday, September 8th at 7 o'clock. Thank you. Right, we'll go to D, authorities, commissions, boards, council reps. No one's finished business. Let's go to number eight, new business, special events, St. Mary's Annual Festival. Chief. Yes, Your Honor, I'm a receipt for a request to approve for a special events permit for the annual St. Mary's Parish to hold their fall festival. From September 25th to September 27th, I'll be at their establishment at 415 North 6th Street. I, all, all the necessary documents are have been received, and I respectfully recommend approval for their event. So moved. Yeah. Support. All right. Motion made to support. Any questions? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank, Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Chief. B. I request to place sign in public Mr. right of way. Mr. Goyer. Uh, Thank you. We'll go. 1500 South Kearney. D, are you on top of this or? Yeah. All right. <coughs> uh, in your packets, you should have had a uh, picture of a design of two separate signs that they would like to put there. Um, you could pick one of the two or, or approve either or. Um, this sign is going to be put kind of in front of Marshall's. Uh, chiropractic it'd probably be a little closer to the intersection they're down by BP um, and you know it's a it's a problem for the truckers you know they miss that turn and they, they really don't know where where it's at whether it's South Kearney there's no direction as far as addresses go and they requested uh, if we could put a sign up there and so <coughs> it's for your approval or denial he has looking at that today um Really, the only spot for that would be between the driveway and the um, the crosswalk. It's going to be in the right of way uh, yeah, between, between the, the curb and yeah, the bike I'm path. I'm talking about the, their driveway and the and the crosswalk because you get any closer to that intersection, it's very no, busy. It, you, correct. It, it'll probably be 20 feet, 15, 20 feet off from Carney <coughs> Drive. Probably. Have we allowed this in the past? Um, well, we've got the the. Credit unions in the right of way, Marshall's signs in the right of way. Those are both two. This is more of a, a directional one. Um, is this the first directional sign we'll be having? Or? <laughs> well, by definition, it's not really a directional sign, but <clears throat> pretty much it is. Yeah. The other place that I think we could really use one would be the old Blue Water Plastics there on Whiting Street. Uh, they're all, the semis are always going down Whiting Street, so... Um, they get turned. There's no way for them to even see the building, let alone knowing that's still Whiting Street. You know, they're behind Riverside Tank. That would be a, another spot that you'd have. And then Cargill, of course, is, they've got one. I would move to approve that request. Support. Do you need a specific sign oh. picked? Do I? Or, uh, you said well, those are just, uh, they're, they're different. I mean, one says warehouse, the other doesn't. You know, I think that's about the only thing. Um, and Jim had something probably to add to that. Yes, I think as a part of the council's consideration in the, the, most, the two most recent instances of this occurring in my memory uh, were Dr. Kaster's um, uh, optometry office on Fred Moore 
and the Dale Kearney uh, State Farm office on Clinton. And in both instances, we required a licensing agreement to be executed by the people putting the sign in that acknowledges that this is simply uh, a grant by city council that is, again, a license that can be revoked at any time, that they don't have any interest in the property, no right to have the sign there. We can have it um, taken down uh, at, at any time for any reason. And uh, Mr. Bulliard also indicated to me privately that there are also other uh, businesses back here who, once this sign goes up, may decide it's a good idea for them. Uh -huh. And that may just be an instance where we'd want to have the sign taken down and simply just have one sign with all of the property owners listed on it, for example. So, I mean, uh, I, 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 don't know, I don't mean to interrupt you, Jim, but did we, did we ever consider just putting a sign up that says South Kearney? I mean, um, I, I, I don't know if I'm in the habit. Well, I, I guess I guess the, the the problem there. I thought of the same thing, but yeah. that South Kearney goes all the way up to um, probably Vine. Okay, Adam Street. Adam. Yeah. Okay, so so really they may still miss it. What you'd have to do is have a sign there with the addresses, so 1500 South Kearney, and then an ar the arrow pointing that way. I mean that would be the uh, and we could look into that if if you would prefer um, I know Brent said that they have the city has somebody that does signs and and um, um, you could put all those business addresses on them if you wanted to and just do one well I guess my concern is, is once we approve this if we approve this who else is going to want a directional sign well in that that's what Jim is ash, actually saying that yeah. if there was one other party on that South Kearney that wanted it this one would probably come down and then we'd do the ho everybody down there now if you'd like to do everybody now we could uh, look into that I think maybe we should do you have a contact you obviously have a contact yep. person. Mm -hmm. can you go to them and just say look at how many other businesses are back there well you've got one, probably one, a half two, a dozen Three. Yeah, probably at least four or five. Unless they're going to put up one that just says all of them. Maybe it's the time to ask that is now before these guys go out and spend money to put up a sign. In this day and age, I mean, with the, the phones that people have, the GPSs and stuff, you you got to imagine that these truck drivers have GPSs or something on their phone for, for direction. Um, and I am concerned about setting a precedent. I mean, not just for South Kearney, but the industrial park to the mm -hmm. north, we're going to have signs pointing in that direction all over the place. I mean, that's that's my biggest concern. I mean, we're trying to regulate signage, and yet we're talking about having a bunch of signs with arrows on them. So. Yeah, I mean, I think Marshalls and the Credit Union and um, Kearney, I mean, they're all advertising their business in front of their business, which mm -hmm. I think is, 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 is a little different. <coughs> I mean, this to me is an advertising sign instead of a directional sign. Well... <coughs> Okay, if you if you if you go to the definition of directional sign, it allows the name and logo on that sign, no, but it's only supposed to be two and a half feet high. Yeah. But like, other than the fire department, the library, we have those signs. As far as any business, we, I mean, it just Cargill. I think Cargill Cargill uh, is for the loading dock. Right. It's yeah. a yeah. truck sign. Yeah. Um, Which is by far probably the busiest. Correct. Um, and they still miss that. Yeah. Well, even uh, that I guess I guess if if uh, Brent was able to uh, come up, you think? I, I mean, I think it's needed. Um, whether or not you allow him to do it or not, I I think the addresses should be there, all the addresses, and then the arrow South Kearney pointing that way. Um, these five addresses going that way. Um, and have have Brent have the sign made. I, I guess my biggest concern with that is how big of a sign you got to make. That well, it would probably only be the. It wouldn't truck. probably be any bigger than this. It wouldn't list the names of the company. It just list list the addresses. List the addresses, but for somebody to sit there and be driving by unless they're stopped at the light. Yeah, they're going to be stopped. Slow down yeah. and look they're, real quick. And they're going to be stopped. I mean, just just trying to be devil's advocate yeah. with yeah. the deal. I know that. I rather have them. I rather have them looking at the sign than trying to. Uh, map quested on their <laughs> smartphone most of the time most of them talk to you. <laughs> and oh by the way talk, i don't do that they talk to you yeah it was the problem okay. is basically the truck drivers can't find where they are well they 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 miss it and they don't turn they they turn left a lot of the times 
you know, rather than south. But I mean, are these, is it a new truck driver every? I don't. Delivery I don't case? know. They're requesting. <laughs> no, they're they're requesting. Foreign truck drivers now, but I don't think a lot of them even speak English. They go by GPS. When Cargill had that, when the bridge that there were five, six semis every morning down the Voyager parking lot trying to figure out mm -hmm. how to get across the bridge, hmm. and it was closed. Mm -hmm. Signage is important. I agree, but I think uh, I think we should probably refer it back and do the the addresses and not have everybody's name up. Can you go back and give it a little chit chat with them? I can do that. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yep. We'll just pull it. All right. Let's go Excuse to me, Mayor. yes. Sir. The motion was moved and seconded. So, Jim, what is the next? Uh, we can have a vote on the motion, or it can be withdrawn. I would withdraw the motion based on the conversation. Thank you. Does that need support? <coughs> Does support? I support it. And then we'll do a vote on that. All right, let's vote on withdrawing the motion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right, thank you. All right, let's go to see appoint principal official representative to attend the MML annual convention. <coughs> With your support here, I'd like to ask that we uh, support Ms. Uh, Mr. Booth, our city and superintendent, as our representative. If, in fact, we do a intent to send her this, we can decide that at a later point, but we do need to have someone as a representative. So moved. Support. All right. Uh, may, motions may support. Any questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Let's go to number nine. Claims on accounts August 7 and 13, 2015. I got, I got one. Oh, okay. uh, 39531. What page? Uh, second to third page. And I think maybe the second bundle of them. To uh, inland water pollution control. Twenty-two thousand eight hundred twenty-five. Page three on the second. That's the final final. It's a, a contract. That's the final payment of it. Twenty-two thousand. What's the contract? Oh, I'm trying to think what it was. I reviewed it too. With the marina. I guess if you can find out, just let yeah. me know, Bill. Yeah, I'll circle like it. Let me know. I'll circle it. Thank you. Are you anybody else? All right. Uh, motion's made supported. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Uh, we'll go to number 10. All right. This is public questions and public comment. Anybody have anything in the audience tonight? Yeah. Yes, sir. Please give us your name and address and state your business. Uh, Gregory Schneider, uh, 1693 South Riverside Avenue, St. Clair. The reason I'm here is, uh, well, my name's on the boat harbor or boathouse list, and uh, there was one available, so I went down to look at it. And while I was down there looking at it, I noticed there's a, a big stretch of property that I, I have printed off a of Google map, and I just scaled it off a of Google map, roughly 400 feet that I measured from one boathouse to the other that's just vacant property. And I think it'd be a win-win situation to, be, you know, cut it up into 20-foot lots or whatever you decide. And so, since I'm number 29, there's at least 29 other people waiting for a boathouse. And I think, don't you think you'd have any problem selling them or leasing them out? So the city would get $165 per lot plus the taxes on it versus nothing it's just sitting there right now. That's I guess I mean. That's part of the golf course part, yes. Right. And I did, I did have a conversation with the uh, right. Mr. I Schneider. talked to yeah. Bill and Butch. And I just wanted to make sure that everybody on the board was aware of it. Yes. And you can have this if anybody wants it. I didn't make seven, or eight copies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Butch, you're. Uh, Member Kinsfighter is our council liaison on the golf course, so I'm imagining that you're going to have some discussion with them. And, and we did have some uh, discussion, Your Honor, at our uh, meeting last week, um, talking with the, the golf course manager, and, and that property, I think, is controlled by Pine Shores. Um, he's, he's not real big on putting boathouses there. He did mention that to the south of the boathouses there was some property down there, but you're not going to get 29 boathouses down there either. But 
he just brought that up as far as the commission goes, but uh, I think ultimately it would be a decision of the council here to decide if that's what they want to do with that property. I'm not sure if that's considered parkland. If it is, I don't know if that's something that would have to go to a vote of the people. Also, I'm sure the uh, council can address that. All right. So that would be, yeah, that'd be it. Okay. <coughs> All right. So, uh, Greg, what I'm just going to say is that uh, you brought the information. You give us something to think about. And certainly there's some issues we'll have to re address and make sure that we're understanding before we do anything with this. <coughs> okay. Thank you. All right, thanks. Thank you, sir. Anybody else? All right, let's go to number 11. I do have a couple quick things for you. First of all, I want to welcome back Member Laporte. It's good to see you sitting back down there again. Um, Annette, you mentioned Labor Day, no meeting. The next day is the next meeting. Garbage pickups one day delayed for everybody that week. Correct. All right. Um, I guess I'll just mention that this Saturday, August 22nd, is the Light of Boat Parade at dusk in the Pine River. Everybody's welcome. You can join in. There's no entry fee. There's no registration fee. Just show up, and we'll have a big old time about that, too. Um, I think that's... Yeah. Your Honor, I just said one thing. Uh, I probably should have brought it up on our boards and commissions, but there is an opening on the uh, Pine Shores Golf Commission if there's any residents that are interested in <coughs> applying for that position. All right. So. Pine Shores Golf Course. Bring your application to City Hall. Get it to Annette. All right. Then uh, I'm going to go to number 12 and ask for a motion to go into closed session to discuss strategy connected with the negotiation of a collective bargaining agreement with the employees of represented by the Police Officers Labor Council and for the purpose of discussing pending litigation a confidential attorney-client communication regarding a legal opinion. So move. Support. Right, motion may support it. Call the roll, please. McCartney? Yes. Foley? Yes. Kinsbatter? Yes. Kleeman? Yes. Huffa? Yes. Report? Yes. Cedar? Yes. Gary Drowner. I think we may take action when we turn. I can't say for sure that we will or won't, but you're welcome to stick around in case you want to enjoy some of the festivities. Thank you for coming tonight. <laughs>